In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Let us recall God's presence. My God, I adore you and I love you. I recognize you dwelling within my soul. My delight is in the law of the Lord. Psalm 1 from the Holy Sacrifice of Mass today. Now is the time to take the beauty of the commandments into our hearts. My delight is in the law of the Lord. At face value, it seems contrary to delight in the law because laws make us think of boundaries and boundaries make us feel constricted and unfree. But we only need to meditate a brief moment longer to realize that the law of God is a boundary of pure goodness, love. And everything outside of that boundary will bring us grief, sorrow, hurt, and ultimately loss of relationship with God. We put our trust in baristas to make us good coffee, but why? We buy one and it is good. Why is that? Obviously many factors come into play, but why do we trust baristas, specifically as the creators of good coffee? We trust them because we presume they keep the law of making coffee. Thou must grind the beans down to a certain size, and have no other grind size besides thee. Keep consistent the poor. Thou shalt not reuse coffee grinds. Thou shalt not bear the beans witness to boiling water. These are examples of coffee laws, and to keep in those laws actually benefits the taste of the coffee, and brings it into the fullness of its capabilities for us to enjoy. How can we not ultimately trust, then, the very creator of the universe, the creator of us with his law? The barista in the coffee law is but a mere shadow compared to the Lord and his law. If we so easily trust our barista to keep the coffee law, to make good coffee, how much easier it is to fall in love with the law of God because it brings out the best of us. And it is for our good. If the law of the Lord is inscribed into our very beings, then truly we are on the way to becoming like Christ, who kept the law perfectly. In the first reading from Deuteronomy, Moses tells us clearly that to keep the commandments of God, you will live and increase, and the Lord your God will bless you. These are very consoling words. Let us then turn to our Father who art in heaven and keep his law out of love for him, rather than out of that fear of that evil that befalls us if we break the law. The latter, obviously, is sufficient, but it should be purified out of perfect charity, bringing us to the point of not wanting to offend God because of utter love for Him, not because of what that offense does for us and to us. Now, I challenge you today. Choose one of the Ten Commandments and put into place ways in which you can not only keep it, but build a desire, a want to honour and abide by it, out of love for our sweet Lord. May God bless you always, and I hope you have an excellent Lent. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.